Do you have someone really special in your life that cares for you? This is Auntie Myla. So glad you came. I have a story for you. Did you know that God is our Father? Yes, He is. He's our Father and He watches out after us, watches us and wants to be sure that we're safe. He sends His big strong angels to take care of us. Well, this story is about our Cindy and it's told by Auntie Laura Cindy's best friend. It's a really sweet story. I know you'll like it. Auntie Myla and I have known each other a long time. We were both missionary kids. Her family lived in Korea. My family lived in Thailand, and I loved being a child in Thailand because it was such a beautiful country, and the people were so friendly. My parents were both doctors. My mother was a pathologist. My dad was a surgeon, and I was born there with two brothers, and we lived there till I was a teenager. One year, we went on furlough. That means to go to the United States and see our grandpas and grandmas whom we never got to see, our uncles and aunts we never got to see, my parents' friends. So we were there a little bit, but you know what? I couldn't wait to get back because I loved Thailand. One day, our big airplane landed in Bangkok. It was a big plane with one, two, three, four propeller props. Not jets in those things. As we were taxiing along, we could see the terminal over there. And I looked to see if I could see anybody. And there were a whole row of people waving and waving and waving. They were so excited to see us and we were excited to see them. In those days, missionaries went to the airport to say bye-bye, and they went back to say, oh, we're so happy to see you again. It was a wonderful experience to be so loved by those who were our good friends. And as I was looking out, I could see my friend Donna Jean up there. Now, Donna Jean and I had grown up together from birth. Her mother and father were also doctors, and they lived on the compound too. So I had known Donna Jean forever, and there was somebody else there. I couldn't see very well as I was coming down the steps from the airplane, getting on the bus and driving there. But when we got through into the arrival area, I finally had a chance to meet her. Donna Jean's friend, who became my very best friend, Cindy, Cindy Crawford. Oh, we talked and talked from the very beginning. That day, I shared with Cindy and Donna Jean something that I was so excited about. I had just gone to hear a trio that was singing at one of the colleges. And the three ladies had dresses all alike, and they sang so beautifully together. Oh, I was so excited because I thought we could do that. And sure enough, we got so excited, we started working on it right away. First thing we did was find a nursing student who could play the piano really well, and then we started working on our first song. Hmm, what song should we choose? We chose the hymn, My Jesus, I Love Thee. And right away, Donna Jean did beautifully well. Cindy did beautifully well. But I didn't. I did terribly. I couldn't learn alto. 
Then go over and over. My Jesus, I love thee, I know thou art mine. And we, I would do it over and over and over, and I could never stay on my part. When everybody else came on, I would drift to soprano or a second or something else besides alto. I could not do it. But finally, I found that if I kind of plugged my ears a little bit and I sang it that way, I could hear them and I could hear me, and then I could sing alto. And we got our dresses all alike, and we were all ready to sing. Sure enough, we got an invitation to sing at a meeting, and we sang for our first time. But that wasn't the last time. We sang many times. And then there was a lady on the compound by the name of Mrs. Sprengel. Now, Mrs. Sprengel had a big choir, a big adult choir. But, you know, she listened to us and. Afterwards, she came to us and said, would you like to join the big adult choir? Oh, we felt so privileged and so happy. And sure enough, we got white robes and we had the sash. Now, this was a very special sash. It was gold on regular Sabbaths. But then you could flip the, and the cloth on the other side was red. And that would be for Christmas or special occasions. That was so cool. We were so excited by that. Well, this one Sabbath, we were all ready to go out. The, the girls stood on the very front row, and then the adults all stood behind. And Mrs. Sprengel was a very good choir director. She taught us how to be very attentive during choir. We couldn't sing and look around and carry on. No, when we sang, we had to hold our music up and look at right over it and look right to the director. That was what she said. We couldn't look around, wave at anybody. No, never, never, never. Also, we couldn't whisper. We couldn't talk. We had to pay attention at all times, keep our eyes on her. We were very well disciplined. Well, this one Sabbath, we all filed out, and we were standing there and just starting to sing, and I had my music up, and suddenly Cindy was standing next to me, and her foot hit mine. And I thought, that's strange. Why is she hitting me? And then, not only her foot, but then she just started leaning her whole body against mine. And I didn't know what was happening. I was afraid she was going to knock me over. And I couldn't look all over, but right behind Mrs. Springle was sitting Dr. Crawford, Cindy's dad. And all of a sudden, I saw him jump up and start running as fast as he could up the aisle. And he came up right to, to Cindy, and he picked her up and went running out of the church. Oh, what had happened? I didn't know what had happened. And I was very frightened. Had she died? What happened? No, she didn't die. Dr. Crawford took her out, laid her down on the ground, fanned her a little bit, she came to she had just fainted. Maybe she didn't eat enough breakfast. Maybe she was too hot. Don't know why she fainted, but she did. Right in front of everybody. But you know, her father had his eye on her the whole time, and he noticed something was wrong. And just like that, he came running up to take care of her. We have a Heavenly Father like that. In fact, in Psalm 103, verse 13, it says, As a caring father is to his children, that's how kind the Lord is to those who accept him as their father. Do you accept God as your father? You can have that kind of attentive father, too. 
I love that. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we want you to be our Father, our attentive Father, who always has your eye on us. We want to be your precious children. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Auntie Laura. That was so sweet how Cindy's father was sitting there in the church and he was watching Cindy and all of a sudden he saw Cindy start to teeter and totter and he ran up, he grabbed her and ran outside and laid her down and she came too. Why? Because he loved her. He was watching her. Just like God the Father watches over us so carefully. I want to pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much that you are our Father, our Heavenly Father, and you're watching out over us, keeping us safe. We love you for Jesus' sake. Amen. Thank you for coming by. Bye.